सन इट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर लाइफ ऑन अर्थ हैव यू एवर सीन हाउ सन रेज आर यूज इन अ प्लांट नर्सरी लेट एस सी वट हैपन्स देयर इन अ नर्सरी सन रेज आर अलाउड इन नो सम ऑफ द रेडिएशन ऑफ सन आर एब्जॉर्ब देयर एंड सम आर रिफ्लेक्टेड these reflected radiations are not allowed to go out of the nursery instead they are trapped these trapped radiations warm the entire greenhouse now due to this the plants can survive even in cold environment similar situation happens when sun rays fall on earth a part of the radiations of sun is absorbed by the earth surface which warms the surface and another part is reflected back into the space now some of these reflected radiations are trapped by the atmosphere which further warms the earth this effect is called greenhouse effect so greenhouse effect can be defined as the trapping of reflected sun radiations by earth's atmosphere but i'm wondering which substance in the atmosphere traps these reflected radiations co2 is one of the gases responsible for this effect that is why we call carbon dioxide as greenhouse gas carbon dioxide traps the heat and does not allow it to escape into the space other gases like methane nitrous oxide and water vapor also contribute towards this effect so like carbon dioxide even these are called greenhouse gases without this greenhouse effect life wouldn't be possible on earth but now it has started threatening life the accumulation of carbon dioxide gas has started increasing the average temperature of earth's atmosphere because more carbon dioxide will trap more heat this is what we call global warming let us see the reasons which are responsible for increasing the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere we know that carbon dioxide is used by plants for photosynthesis but nowadays on one hand we are releasing a lot of carbon dioxide by burning fuels and on the other hand we are cutting down the forest now due to deforestation the plants that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere have reduced so the carbon dioxide level is increasing day by day in the atmosphere this is leading to global warming global warming has harmful effects on our environment many glaciers have started melting because of global warming like the gangotri glacier in the himalayas now due to this the sea level has raised drastically at many places the coastal areas have already been flooded and some may even submerge over time global warming also has effects on rainfall pattern agriculture forests plants and animals and majority of the people who are affected by global warming are living in the asian regions an increase in the earth's temperature by even as little as 0.5 degree celsius can have serious effects and according to the recent climate change report there can be an increase in the temperature by more than 2 degree celsius by the end of the century it is very dangerous this will happen if the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere increases global warming is a major concern for many governments worldwide so many countries have decided to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases and one such protocol is kyoto protocol okay so finally we have learned what is greenhouse effect and we've seen carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and water vapor are called greenhouse gases note that even sulfur dioxide is a greenhouse gas and we've seen that greenhouse effect nowadays is threatening life by increasing the temperature of the earth which is called global warming due to the accumulation of carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere
and we've also seen the harmful effects of global warming of life on earth. 